All right, so now that we have our uh, modal all set up, I just wanna write a few tests just to make sure that this actually works in the future and we can catch any regressions. So let's hop into our activities test and let's just do test uh, should create shoe on, uh, well, let's do should create shoe. And we'll do do. And for this, let's see, our user activities. So yeah, we'll sign in with this person. So sign in user, uh, visit new activity path. And then we'll do, I think this is a button, right? So we'll do click button, add shoe. And then I need to actually kind of walk through this now. So I think this is gonna say like new shoe or something. Let's just do, what is this called? Yeah, so new shoe. So within new shoe, do. And then we'll just do fill in uh, name. with, um, maybe let's do, we'll just do like this classic foobar baz here. Let's just do that. And then click button, create shoe. And then what we want to do is probably within here, so let's do like within this select box do and let's just assert that this text exists I'm not totally sure um, if this is gonna work and actually let's just do 0, 0.0 miles do that too since uh, that shoe should not have any miles um, so let's just do rails t test system and this is on the activities test and this is on line 128 or actually it's on line 117 cool that worked that's awesome that was actually pretty easy. And then let's just do, maybe make sure that errors are uh, also returned. So should, let's actually see if we have anything in here. Yeah, so should, let's just do this. Like, should render form errors when uh, creating shoe. So we'll keep all this the same. Then we'll just uh, do that and then let's just do where is it I'm just gonna copy and paste because I'm too lazy search selector formatters so let's just go in here um, yeah, and we'll keep it we'll keep it within the within block so let's just do line 133 Cool, that passed. So now that we have a test for that, I think what I actually wanna do is refactor that form a bit, because we're sharing, we have two forms, but they're basically doing the same thing. So if we go into, uh, where is it here? I think it's in our shoes probably. So we have shoes right here. Um, but then also activities in our I think it's on our, yeah, and here, so here's the shoe form. We're using all these same fields here. So I think what I'm gonna do is, under shoes, let's make a new partial called form fields.html.erb. And then what I'm gonna do here is 
Um, we'll keep we'll keep these back buttons because those are different. Um, but this whole thing, I think we can just cut that out, paste it in there. Um, and I'll put that in here, and then what we can do is we should be able to render render partial. And then look for shoes form fields. Then we just need to pass in locals, and uh, we need to pass in the form object, so that way it has access to the form object. So we need to do that with by doing it this way, and we should be able to do the same thing under activities and then going into this form here so we'll keep the submit button but we can get rid of this and this should be the same uh, one way to find out is to just quickly run our test let's get rid of that extra one so let's just run the whole activity test suite or actually let's just run the whole test suite in general Awesome, so that refactor did not break anything. Um, that's really why I love writing these high level system tests is because I would have had to go in and create, update the shoe like four different times just to make sure this actually worked. So that's awesome. The next thing I wanna do is just quickly fix this modal because we have modal title and, and these buttons here and that's just because I copied it from the demo. Um, so we don't really need a modal. Uh, footer and we can just change this to like maybe just like add a shoe something like that so that looks better um, we should also probably make this much uh, or less wide because you know you don't need it to be that wide to add the mileage in there so let's just go and that and that's why I also wanted to make that partial because now I can just make that edit in one place. Uh, I kind of forget how to do this exactly. I think you might just be able to wrap this in a form row. So let's just give this a shot. I'm not really sure here. So maybe a form row, then we have the form group. Or actually, we might want to switch that. Um, and then I think I can just wrap this in a column. Maybe I'm really not sure. Let's just see what that looks like. No, that didn't do anything. Okay, so actually, if I wrap it in a form row, and then maybe if I just get rid of this, and then if I do, I think if I do like column and column auto, let's see what that looks like. Uh, so not great. Maybe if I just do like column four, see how big that is. Okay, so that that, that affects the uh, the label though, huh? If I do this, I don't think I'm gonna shoot it's this mileage. Hmm. I'm loving how this looks. And if I turn that back to a form group. Okay, so this markup's working good enough. So we wrap it in a form group, then a form row, then we wrap the column or the, the label in a column of eight field, and a column of four. And I might even do like maybe nine and three and then we add a shoe so this looks a little bit better um, I think this is a good place to leave off 